In this session, I am going to explain what is the roadmap to become a data engineer. So in this, uh, what is the agenda for this today's session is we will see what exactly the data engineering is and what, what are the use cases of it, the scope of the data engineering, why you have to choose your career as data engineering and how the data engineering jobs has evolved from the last 20 years and what are the current roles we see in the market and what are the must skills you need to become a data engineer. What exactly data engineering? So uh, data engineering is a process of delivering your raw data into a meaningful insights. So what exactly that means? So if you see a company, any company that data generation is possible in the multiple sources. So they may have their website, they may have their application like mobile application, or they may also have some CRM to maintain their inventory and the resources. So the data generation is possible in multiple ways. So based on all those data, they want to take a certain decisions to make the company growing. So if you see the, the picture in the right side, you see that there are multiple types of the data is here. So you can see the JPEG and you can see the CSV, Excel, NoSQL database, regular relational database, the JSON, all this type of the data is possible. So it is going through this funnel. Uh, at the end of the funnel, they are generating a dashboard based on the reports the dashboard generates, they will take the decisions on the company. So to get the dashboards and the, to get the reports, so there are multiple steps will happen behind the scenes. Those entire process is nothing but the data engineering. So here this entire process uh, happens within this funnel is nothing but a data engineering. So we will get into a much details uh, in the next, next slides. So in terms of the scope of data engineering, so as I told you guys, like uh, any company can have their web-based platforms or CRM or app-based platforms, or they may be pulling the data from some of the APIs. So all these things like will come into one common place, which is nothing but a data lake. And in the data lake, there will be a many steps. There will be many transformations. So in data engineering, you always hear the term called ETL. So you can see that like they, they extract the data from the source databases, they will transform the data in the data lake and they will load the data back to the target layer, which will be the source for the downstream applications. When this, when I say the downstream, it can be a reporting or it can be a machine learning or it can be the data you're transferring back to the websites. So here, the, the data engineering scope will come, this orange box you see here, the entire data engineering scope will be over here. So let's see some of the use cases. So uh, in any company, like let's take an example of like a retail company. So in the retail company, their higher management, like the board of directors, they will ask uh, the software team, like, uh, can you pull me the sales of last six months of this product? So they want to decide whether to continue this product or they want to discontinue. So how exactly they will do? If you see here, if anyone orders from the websites or the application, the data comes to the databases. So from there, the data lake team, they will pull the data and they will transform based on the business transformations and load back into the target layer. So which the downstream applications like the Power BI or Tableau uh, developers, they will pull the data and generate the report. So for this particular product as well, they, they might have uh, the data pulled from the databases and transformed and the reports will be generated. So those reports will be given back to the board of directors based on that they will take the decisions whether to continue or not so let's take another example so uh, along with a retail team so every company will have a finance team as well. uh, if any company they are starting a new project so definitely they need a money right so they will ask from the investors so the investors they cannot invest on blindly so they will ask your company financials for the last four quarters or how many quarters they need so in this case like they have asked for the last four quarters based on last four quarters of the financials from the company the company has to give the last financials so based on that they will take a decision whether to invest uh, the money in this company or whether not to invest in this company so here exactly here again uh, the process will remain the same so uh, the request goes to the finance team uh, the finance team will pull the reports for the last four quarters and they will submit back to the investors so on why exactly you need to choose your career as data engineering so if you see everyone current world like everyone is going in a digital so as we are going in a digital the data generation is also in digital correct so amount of the data generating is so much in every day so because of that you need a sophisticated data engineering platform so that you can take the decisions very quickly and it is 
you, you can see the scope of the opportunity is so high here and it is as i said like it's very difficult to automate the reason become why exactly it is difficult to automate is like there will be a new requirements it comes more often because of that like new work will be there always uh, and you and the work is also very challenging the reason because you cannot see the data will be in a fixed manner it can behave in however it is because if you see uh, if you want to invest in the stock market you cannot completely rely right it can go any direction so because sometimes you feel like it will go up but it doesn't go up it, it may go down as well so as it is like uh, the data also behaves very weirdly so the work will be always challenging and you will also see very interesting use cases every time as the scope of the data is very large you will also see the multiple roles and the better salary they are uh, they are paying really good for this uh, data engineer positions and you will see in terms of the long term career for the next 15 or 20 years if you see as the data generation will be continuously growing and you will also have a long term career in this field and you can easily adapt so uh, one speciality of this particular uh, stream is you don't need any experience you don't need uh, to have a knowledge on the it industry or uh, even being a fresher also you can start your career as a data engineer so all these are the positive uh, ness to start your uh, career as a data engineer if you see the last 20 years how the job roles were like you were seeing the data warehouse developer mysql developer ssis pl sql all these are the multiple developers now all this combinedly called a data engineer you'll also see a data warehouse developer sometimes in the market but again they all they also do the similar to data engineer so uh, the scope has become like uh, instead of having a multiple roles it has become one single role data engineer and uh, in terms of the job roles in the current market you see the data engineer big data engineer data lake engineer these are the different type of the roles you will see in the uh, market so if you see if you go and see in the linkedin you will see a different terms so all of them like uh, works very similar and the, what are the must skills you need for the data engineer so sql no sql is a must thing and the python data warehousing cloud it can be aws azure or gcp and you need a, you need to know the big big data frameworks like hadoop spark and uh, you also need to know one pipeline management tool uh, airflow so all these things are very must required skills to become as a data engineer so um, if you see the end to end uh, course overview you will see uh, uh, we will uh, help you guys to understand about the aws airflow data breaks spark so you will learn all these things so all these things you will learn uh, from this course so if you have any doubts on like uh, what exactly uh, you're going to learn you can comment on this on this video we will get back to you with your questions so um that's all i wanted to cover in this video please subscribe uh, if you want to discuss with anything you can reach out to our team they will get back to you as quickly as possible thank you